everybody. Today is Saturday, December 26, 2020. Amber R. Taylor, the creator, painter by nature on Instagram, amberrtaylor.net. I have some artwork up there if you guys want to check that out. And today I want to talk about yeah. acceptance of relationships and healing yourself. So I look at the human soul almost as if, say, all of our souls are a flavor of water. I feel like our true flavor of water, or not, it may not even be water, it's a liquid. It's a liquid. So our true liquid is custom. It's different, you know? And as we're going through this journey, and I know a lot of people are being pushed to embrace more of their truth and find their authentic selves in this Aquarian new age that is coming in right now or is here, yay! Um, we're finding out what our flavor of water is. And I think that whenever a person goes inside themselves and they figure out what they feel and what is best for them, they don't realize this, but on the physical level, there's there may be a list of new things that you need to do to be happy and also uh, a list of things that you used to do that you cannot do anymore like for yourself you know like you know it may be hey eating you know after six o'clock makes me feel clammy almost like i get anxiety or something or hey i have to only drink this type of water now or you know hey i want to give up this or i want to give up that you know or it might be hey i need to be more active and go sit out in nature more now or you know hey you know i have to limit my television watching like there will be new boundaries and things that you will set up once you find how your soul really feels what flavor your water is so i say that to say this is a lot of times whenever we are frustrated okay we will decide well frustrated in our physical lives and we find this harmony within ourselves we will decide hey you know i found this heaven inside of myself and I want to go back on this relationship and I would like to um, kind of give you the harmony I feel inside of myself right now, okay? And one thing I can say that I've learned about relationships, and this is so obvious, but it definitely takes two people. It takes two people for that energy to be shared like that. Two people finding out what their flavor of liquid is and they cannot do it from peer pressure they can't do it from guilt they can't do it from competition they have to do it genuinely because their soul cares that they fix their life admit their flaws and tell themselves the truth before they die and you can't do that for another person you know so whenever you come to this i know this is my flavor of liquid I think it can be hard because a lot of times people only accepted you in the past because they suppress you into being the flavor of liquid they wanted you to be okay so whenever you come back or you decide to come back to try to share this emotional fulfillment and inspiration like hey it is a way it doesn't have to be like this energy with this type of person in this relationship. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a lover, if it's a friend, if it's a whatever. A lot of times, if that person hasn't been on that search for their own liquid, they'll look at you almost as if, like you're trying to come back and slap them in the face and say, yeah, I don't even need you. You know, and that's not even what you're saying. You know, you're saying, hey, we can evolve into a, a, a different, psychological space where the things that we were mad at each other about don't even exist because we feel fulfillment you cannot tell somebody that that is something a person learns through experience therefore the energy between you two will stay toxic will stay toxic and when you come around with this kumbaya it's okay energy the person almost feels as if they like energetically imagine a homeless person okay and you are driving by and you got your expensive this and your expensive that maybe and he's like you know what i want to give them i want to give them i want to help them out i want to give them some water it's hot outside 
give him some chips, maybe an apple, you know? And then maybe you want to give him a Bible, something that inspired you. Something that inspired you, okay? And you're trying to give it to this person who doesn't feel that way about themselves. Energetically, they are like, they're almost like a scammer. And they look at you as like a rich dumbass where they're going to pretend like they appreciate it. But they think you're dumb as hell. They don't like what you're doing. They don't like you. Because they're not at a point in their life where they want that harmony with everyone because they haven't been doing that by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes, you know, everybody's desire in life isn't to get closer to their own individual liquid. You know, some people's desire in life is to become more like what other people want them to be like. And they will do that until they go crazy. They will lie to themselves about who they are and how they feel. And they'll jump on these bandwagons of hatred, jumping and jumping and jumping. And they'll keep on jumping. When they say hate men, they hate men. When they say hate other races, they hate other races. When they say hate other religions, they hate other religions. When they say hate themselves, hate your body, they jump on all those things. So if you try to come and say, I accept you as you are, they don't accept themselves as they are. And this isn't a judgment towards the person. It's just realizing that whenever you try to go inside and you telling yourself hurt your own feelings, you know, and finding out what your own liquid is, sometimes you have to accept that you may not be in that person's life for that person's healing. They may, their purpose may be stay hating you. And your purpose may be acceptance that everybody's not going to like you. And continuing to be who you are. Everybody doesn't have to like you. But it's very important, in my opinion, that a person finds value in liking themselves. Because if you are your own ship and you don't even want to get to your own destination what are you doing what are you doing you know so amber r taylor the creator painter by nature on instagram amberrtaylor.net has some prints up i'll have lots more content inspirational philosophical creative content so follow me instagram painter by nature and bar taylor the creator and i will talk to you guys in 2021